Yeah, hello viewers. So today we are back with another topic. And today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is migraine. And not the routine migraine, but migraine can have variants. So there are some usual unusual symptoms in patients with migraine, but they are not so uncommon. So it is important to recognize that there are also types of migraine and one can take appropriate preventive and curative treatments. So to start off with, we look at migraine with aura. So what is migraine with aura? So aura is a group of symptoms that occur before the headache starts. So the most important symptom of migraine, as we know, is headaches. And they tend to occur repeatedly. But about 25% of patients with migraine, they can have symptoms before the headache begins. In that, it can be visual. So some people say see zigzag lines or flashes of light or some kind of scotoma or blind spot. And usually the headache starts on the same side, whichever side the visual symptoms are. And then the head, these visual symptoms may last for 15, 20, 30 minutes. And then the headaches can last for several hours. So that is the visual aura before the migraine. Similar aura can be auditory, where certain sounds in the ear that is tinnitus or some kind of hearing problem can happen. It can be sensory where one side there can be tingling or numbness kind of symptoms in one hand, one leg. It can be motor also, like there can be weakness of the face or the hand or the leg. But the main feature of these aura symptoms are that they last only for a few minutes and then the person completely recovers from them. And then the headaches begin. So that is migraine with aura. The second type of unusual or uncommon migraine is something known as retinal migraine. So in the retinal migraine, as the name suggests, it is the symptoms related to vision or the retina, and it's also called ocular migraine. So these patients who have retinal or ocular migraine, they have prominent visual symptoms in one half. So they tend to report that they lose vision or there is blurring of vision in one side of the only one eye. And that can be seen in almost like complete vision loss also in about, about say 70% of people. And many others, they say 12 or 20%, they say there is partial vision loss. And again, this tends to recover completely. And within about one hour, most people may have headaches also. So this is the retinal migraine. It may look somewhat like, you know, this uh, vis migraine with visual aura, but here only the visual symptoms are more prominent and scary. And then the headaches may start and some people headaches may not be so severe also. The third unusual type or it is not so uncommon is the vestibular migraine or also called as vertiginous migraine or migraine associated vertigo. So as you can understand from the name, uh, along with the headaches, these patients also have vertigo. It is possible that headaches start earlier, say in the second or third decade. And after 10 or 15 years later, the patients also start having vertigo or the sense of what is called dizziness, which starts. And sometimes the patients may have only dizziness symptoms. And after uh, dizziness for a few seconds to few minutes or few hours, the headaches also may start. So sometimes it is difficult to make out that whether the patient has dizziness or the headache on the same day, they may occur on different days also. So unless we ask leading questions, the history may not come. But what is important is that a patient who has both dizziness and headache, one should look for uh, this diagnosis of vestibular migraine because treatment can be very, very rewarding. The next uh, type of migraine, what we commonly see is menstrual migraine or also known as catamenial migraine. So in menstrual migraine, as the name suggests, the headache episodes occur only during the periods. So that is, as per definition, it can happen two days prior to periods or on the first three days of period. So only on these five days in a month, the sufferers get migraine headaches. Other 25 days, they don't have headache episodes. But you can have a group of people or women who can have headache episodes in connection with the periods and also other days of the month. So that is called as migraine along with which with aggravation during the period, which is common for most women. But a woman who has migraine episodes only in relation to the periods, that is known as menstrual migraine. And again, they need to be treated only on those five days. They may not take medicines throughout the month. And if some people, if someone has headaches uh, at other days of the month also, they require preventive medicines throughout the month also. Then uh, there are two other uh, or two or three other types which are 
which look quite severe or serious, but fortunately they are not serious. So in that one is basilar migraine, second is familial hemiplegic migraine. So in the basilar migraine, it uh, the patients can have symptoms uh, which can mimic a basilar artery stroke, where the you know the when the patients have blockage of basilar artery, it can be a very severe catastrophic type of stroke. But in the basilar migraine, the symptoms can mimic, like they can have dizziness, vertigo, imbalance while walking, tinnitus. Uh, even diplopia, all these symptoms can happen. They may have imbalance while walking and sometimes they can be drowsy or even you know look semi-conscious. But the best part is that they recover from all these symptoms completely and they may have severe headaches also because it's a basilar migraine. But such people, they require preventive medicines to prevent future head episodes of migraine and uh, definitely a brain scan should be done so that we don't miss any basilar artery thrombosis or stroke. The second type of migraine that can mimic strokes is called as familial hemiplegic migraine. So as the name suggests, it runs in families and so there are genetic mutations also identified. Hemiplegic means patients have weakness of one hand, one leg and even the face which can last for a few minutes up to a few hours, in some cases up to a few days also, but eventually they recover and if you do a brain scan in these patients, it doesn't show any clot or stroke. So it can mimic a brain stroke but it is not stroke. So one sided weakness along followed by headache it can and which with a positive family history it can be familial hemiplegic migraine and the last type which i want to discuss today is called as status migranosis so by definition the migraine headaches can last from 4 hours up to 72 hours but if a migraine patient has headaches lasting beyond 72 hours it is called as status migranosis so this can be very serious and severe and disabling for the patient because just imagine headaches going on for more than uh, 72 hours. In some cases, up to one week also the pain can last. And these patients require IV medications because tablets may not work because they have vomiting. So they need IV fluids and also IV antiemetics and uh, strong medicines to relieve the pain. So I hope uh, these migraine variants which I discussed today, you found them useful. And if you like this video, please like and also share with others for wider reach post your comments and queries and subscribe to this channel for watching more similar videos in the future. Thank you.